to another, well, not episode, but another, this is how I do it. I will apologize right away for the glare and maybe like the light is flickering a little bit, but I just have my ordinary table, um, table uh, lamp. And some of the things I have here are in plastic. So it will be a, a glare. Anyway, this is about uh, how I choose my fabric for uh, the Mirabilia's. Uh, someone uh, on PlusTube asked me the question and I have been thinking a while about it, how I'm going to talk about it. So, uh, in the beginning, when I started out with Mirabilia, I learned through um, Facebook and YouTube, you know, FlossTube and everything, that 28 count was a good choice. So all the beads would fit well on the fabric. I also, from the beginning, be beginning, wanted hand-dyed fabric because I found them so beautiful. Uh, now I have changed my mind a little bit about that and feel that it's not necessary every time. Um, so this is my first Mirabilia and she's stitched on a 28 count. It's not hand-dyed because it's white on the back, so I would say it's some printed fabric it's even weave and she wasn't heavy beaded at all um, all the beads fit very well and even these you know they're quite big and they're supposed to be you know big and clutchy so I'm very happy with this so I've also learned that hand dyed fabric shrink in the hand dyed hand dyeing process so especially linen and ada shrink so if you choose a 32 count hand dyed linen it is not a 32 count anymore it's more you know closer to i don't know 34 36 so you have to take that in consideration especially you know depending on how your beads are placed on your Mirabilia design. Um, and if you do have, you have to look at your pattern and your design. Is it heavily, is, you know, is it bead heavy? Are the beads clutched together? Maybe like these, but even, I mean, I can't even show on her. I can show you on my Veronica. This is a 32 count, the called for fabric, it's a linen. And here you have uh, beads in a big row. And you can see that I've put my beads different. They're not on a di diagonal and that takes up space. And these parts of the dress gave me some trouble because it was on 32 count and because I was placing the beads straight. So check your pattern, check how bead heavy it is and if the beads are clutched together. Here, no problem at all. <clears throat> So here we had a printed 28 count, no problems with the beads. I was placing them on a diagonal and the stitching is pretty nice. I think it was a good cover. And here we had the called for fabric, a 32 linen. I think if I had placed the beads on a diagonal, I wouldn't have had any trouble. Those are the two Mirabilias I have finished. I'm working on a third one where I also chose the pattern in the beginning. 
you know, when I was starting out. And this is a hand dyed fabric from, sorry for the shake, from Crafty Kitten. Yeah, Crafty Kitten. It's very slightly dyed. Uh, it's 28 count even weave. It's not linen. This is Lady of Mystery. I'm not happy with the coverage, stitched coverage. I can see the fabric through, so I have wanted 32 count for this. I, I regret this. And the beads are very spread out. They're like single beads. I don't have any beads on this part at the moment. But there's like a bead there, a bead there, one there, one there. So it wouldn't m matter if I would have stitched her on a higher count. <clears throat> so you can, you know, look, start by looking in the back. There's quite a lot of different beads. Uh, there are no treasures. So you will have to look. It seems to be a lot of, let's see. Um, a lot of beads up here. So that would be something to consider. You know, go out on Facebook, on Instagram, and look, try to find, you know, maybe somebody has stitched them. You can take a closer look. On this one, there's very few beads. So I don't think this would be a problem either. So look at that. And then, yeah, the big question is, you know, should you go for a normal linen called for? Um, this is a 32 count. Or should you go for a hand dyed linen? or even we, whatever. Um, this is also a 32 count. Um, I will leave it here because I will insert some video now. Um, well, first of all, I go for a feeling. You know, when I see the pattern, what do I feel? Uh, do I want this on a dark brown? Or is white calling for me? Or blue or purple you know do i really want to stitch this on green maybe she would look great on a blue hand dyed fabric or maybe the blue just normal linen you know then i usually look at the color color wheel i will insert the color wheel here Now, if you look at the wheel, I have learned that the opposite colors from one another are the colors that fit the best together. They complement each other very well. So if you take red and green, you know, our Christmas colors, which most of us love very much, they're opposite to each other and they work very well with each other. That is why I'm saying, for example, uh, the Royal Holiday Queen, also inserting a picture here. She, her dress is, you know, has a lot of red in it. And that is why I'm saying I want to stitch her on a green background. And I'm not talking, you know, this green. I want like a, a green, like the back, you know, the, my table here. And also my Lady Mystery, this one. I thought she was red. She's actually more like a cerise, uh, yeah, purple kind of color. But that is why I went with a greenish tint on the fabric. And I always go out on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Printerest, Google Floss Tube, to try to find pictures of 
the mirabilia I want to stitch and look at all the wonderful choices everyone has made. Lastly, I head over to Fabric Viewer and this is the greatest tool which is out there except for Pattern Keeper, but I don't use that for my mirabilia. So anyway, uh, I will insert the video of the Fabric Viewer here. Okay, so I will show you um, Fabric Viewer. So you can just uh, Google Fabric Viewer, but otherwise the, the site is called designafabricviewer.com. Um, so when you get here, you need to <clears throat> cre create an account. Um, and it's free, but you just need an account. And I already have an account, so... Um, I will just log in. So this is how the first page looks like. And since we're talking about mirabilias, we are we're going to, I'm going to show you that. Um, so we select which pattern. You can see at the top here, you have patterns, fabrics, fa favorites, and search. And then you have where you select the artists. And then you can select one, two, and three, how many windows you will have to look at and compare. I always have all. Um, I don't know the other ones. I haven't used that, but. So we go here and we choose Mirabilia. And now we have, I think it's all of her designs, but I guess not the latest one. Uh, so I will show you, let's just do, yeah, you see a botanical garden here. It's, it's the latest, second latest. There was a new one yesterday. Uh, it's the second latest. Um, and you see it's white background, but she's in all of the three windows. And now I go to the top and I choose a fabric. And then I will need to select which fabric dyer I want to look at. And I usually go to the United Kingdoms right away. Um, because before it was, you know, cheaper. Uh, so, but now I guess it doesn't matter. The ch shipping is still cheaper from United Kingdoms, but uh, but you can choose. Not everyone is here, but a lot of them are. And my latest favorite is pull stitches. So I will choose pull stitches. And then you get a variety of, you know, selection of their um, hand dyed fabrics. Everything is not there, but there's a lot. And when I've cho chosen the, the fabric dyer, I will then choose which window I want the fabric to show up in. So if you don't want the same fabric in all three windows, which you don't want to, if you're going to compare different hand dyed fabrics, I choose window one. And on window one, maybe I want the angel dust. And then it comes up in the window. And let's see, the second window I want something let's see maybe some how about Bali sunset and then you get it there let's take something blue or green I actually like the first one um, the angel dust I think she looked very nice there um, It is always so difficult to choose cloud. Let's do cloud. And here she is on 
blue background. And then I just, you know, uh, I like the first one, but maybe I didn't like the blue. And then I go back up. I didn't like the blue at all, so I choose something else. No, I actually want to see something green. How about Elvenwood? Yeah, much better. So, so that's how I do. And that's how I choose my hand-dyed fabrics. So, I hope you found that short video uh, about um, on uh, Fabric Viewer helpful. Um, I know a lot of people out there are using it. So don't be afraid to to choose. Um, I do, however, like the call for fabrics on a lot of them now. I think the Mirabilias are so pretty and beautiful and they can speak to themselves. They don't need something hand dyed too, uh, but it is nice to to use hand dyed fabrics because they are just so so amazing. It's a piece of art. Um, yeah, so this is how I choose my fabric for Mirabilia's. If you have any further questions about it, if I was unclear on something, please don't hesitate to leave comments down below, and I will do my very best. Uh, to answer them. Thank you for watching. Bye.